Hey everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner. Today we're going to talk a little bit about setting up some really simple and basic water collection. So today I thought we would talk a little bit about just some really simple water collection ideas. Ways that you can do it, they don't have to be expensive. You can spend a lot of money on this. There are lots of options out there, but you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can do it with stuff you have around the yard. Our system, myself, is extremely basic and simple, and my parents have a little bit more technical setup than I do, and I'm gonna show you both of those today. So one of the first things that we do so the easiest thing to do is to set a bucket right on the drip edge. You can use food grade buckets, five gallon buckets, you can use big buckets, totes, anything works. I mean, you can see where the drip edge is around your house and where everything uh, hits the ground. So if you just set buckets and totes along that line, you're gonna be just fine. It will collect a, quite a bit of water. I had this five gallon bucket out here the other day when it was raining and in about four hours it just about filled the bucket for the amount of rain that we got. So that was really nice. Uh, I had that while I was planting some flowers and moving some plants and things. So I used that water out of this bucket and sometimes we have a whole bunch of buckets. It depends. Uh, I, this bucket just happens to be out here right now. So this system is really basic and simple and it just the gutter along the top drips down into the barrel and then you can see there is a spout in the top of the barrel for overflow to go into the next barrel and you can set this up barrel to barrel to barrel. These don't have covers. I just strictly use these for water in the garden but you can quickly cover these over and make them nice and clean for um, your regular water and this one we keep the bugs out with just a basic screen and a piece of paracord with a slip knot in it and this is just screen that you can fix your windows with or whatever replacement screen it's pretty inexpensive at the low at your local hardware stores and I'm not sure if you can see there's about a half a barrel of water and this just keeps everything out you're not going to get any bugs in here you can definitely um, buy you can buy tops for your barrels if they don't come with tops or uh, you can um, make them whatever I'm all about using what I have and do this as inexpensively so as possible. those are three different setups that we use on our property we like to keep it basic and simple you can definitely do more my parents have a much nicer setup than we have um, and I will put that in here you can see they have um, a gutter across the top and that is screened and then the water flows down the hose into the first barrel and they're all connected together between each one there is an overflow hose so once one barrel is full it will flow into the next and on the bottom of each one they have a little spout with a garden hose so it can go into their watering cans and things like that that they use but you could definitely take those off and you could you can buy those little spouts at the hardware store and you can add you can put a hose on it and just it's gravity fed it's not going to have tons of pressure but you could just use a hose from it as well that definitely works so there are definitely much more technical ways that you can do this. You can really go all out on water collection. It depends on what you're looking for. I really like simple, easy. We just dunk in with our watering cans or a bucket or whatever we need and move the water that way. You can use hoses. We have a few that drain from the spouts at the bottom, uh, but it just, it's whatever works for you. There are so many different ways you can do this. And you can get these blue rain barrels, uh, water barrels, 
whatever, you can get them used a lot of times on Craigslist or maybe Facebook Marketplace or something like that. A lot of people will sell them used for $10 or $15, or you can get them brand new between $60 and $100 and something. dollars. It depends on what you want. I'm okay with used. Most of our stuff is just collected over time. I may have spent $10 on something. I can't even remember, honestly. We've had them for a long time and they just work so that's what we do and that is it for today if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye